hello everyone this is satvik and in this video we'll discuss about otp bypass so without getting any delay let's dive into the video so guys first of all really really thank you for all your support and also guys if you are having any doubts or anything like that you can check out my discord server the link is in the description below because i had seen most of you are posting your uh, doubts regarding some tools like errors or anything in the comments so youtube removes those comments and uh, it is not a best place so that i can help so you can check out the uh, my discord server the link is in the description below and also guys if you want to connect to me personally you can check out my twitter and linkedin the links are in the description as well so guys uh so this is this part is a continuation for the bug bounty series and in this video as i told you previously we'll discuss about an otp bypass uh, methodology or you can call it anything like that so as the name suggests otp is nothing but an one time password so what happens is like so let us assume that uh, you went to some shopping website okay and uh, in order to book uh, in order to log in you need to uh, provide your mobile number or email and then you need to uh, provide the otp that the particular company is sending to you so this is uh, how the authentication or verification works generally so as a hacker or a bug bounty hunter you can make use or you can test that particular application whether it is perfect is perfectly managing uh, its requests or not so as the name suggests the otp bypass in the sense so we try to bypass the otp let us assume that uh, we don't have the mobile phone of uh, a target person but uh, we successfully given his mobile number and then we are able to log in uh, without even and mentioning the correct otp so this is how the generally works and uh, uh, you can try to find like you can try to hunt this particular vulnerability on uh, almost all the websites which are uh, requiring otp for some purpose so now we'll dive into the practical part so guys now i'm going to share a poc of a recent vulnerability that i found in some uh, company and i shouldn't dis disclose that particular company uh, because of their vdp rvdp something like that okay so let us assume that the particular company is named as abc so what this particular company uh, performs or how this company works is like so you need to provide your particular mobile number so i'll show you that so this is the particular uh, page kind of thing or this is a particular form so if you are familiar with uh, what you call uh, something like uh, html then you will understand this is a simple form so what it requires uh, for me is a mobile number so once i enter the mobile number and once i click on this particular icon or this button then i will be sent to a otp page so where i should send where i should uh, mention the otp and then uh, that particular server checks right so what i had done is so this is my particular request guys now you can see that this is my particular request so you can see that uh, uh, there is a request to the validate otp.php and there is some code uh, this is something like a session or a cookie kind of thing and there is something called as otp like i mentioned four zeros in this case you can see it here the reason is uh, i don't know what will be my particular thing or what will be my otp will be but uh, i was able to find out that that particular company uses like four uh, digits otp pin in order to verify so i was able to put uh, four uh, zeros here it was just simple like that and you can see some uh, host so i have uh, obfuscated them the reason is uh, i shouldn't mention those because this particular vulnerability i'm going uh, this particular thing i'm showing now as as of now is not yet fixed so i'm uh, obfuscating all these things so once i uh, send this particular uh, request so i was able to capture this in my burp suit so you can see i'm not even using a professional edition or anything like that you can see it is a community edition so the reason why i'm using this particular 1.7.36 version is you, you get most of the features uh, which are right now uh, paid for free in this particular 1.7 series so you can do check them out if you want or if you have pro version you can go ahead so but for this particular uh, poc you don't need a pro version okay but if you have it it would be fine so as i told you i captured this particular request here and what i'm going to do right now is 
so now you can see that uh, in burp suit there is some functionality so if you can click on this particular action or if you can right click over here or anything like that and also guys if you don't know anything regarding burp suit uh, because burp suit is an important tool in order to find out some bugs so you can i leave you the link for my mastering burp suit series uh, youtube playlist in the in the description or in the cards you can do check them out from there so what i was able to do is i was able to intercept the response so the web how the web works is like you send a request and you get a response so i'm sending this particular request which consists of my otp a dummy otp kind of thing and i am looking for the response like what will be my response for this particular page or particular uh, input or anything like that i provided so if you can see here i got a response from so and so company uh, for this particular uh, request where it is asking me where it is related to validate otp.php and there is some code kind of thing and also an otp a four zero uh, kind of thing it is a dummy otp here so if you can see here so this is my response you don't need to uh, mention all these things because uh, like these are some security policies and stuff but what you can see here is so there is a something parameter or there is some statement okay so there is some particular statement saying stating that it is an error so if you are familiar if you are a little bit familiar with boolean terms so error in the sense it is a false thing so whenever you get some false then the particular thing doesn't get executed or then that particular thing doesn't get processed so if it doesn't get processed then we are unable to go forward but what i was able to do here is so i changed this particular thing like you can edit the responses as well okay uh, but uh, you can edit the response as well i changed this particular thing to something positive or something true so it, it can be success uh, so i was able i put there i uh, edited that to success or you can make that to true or sometimes you get uh, you have something like zero in the place of error you can change that to one so for that you need to have a little bit of knowledge over boolean so what i was what i had did here is so i simply changed the success and i simply sent uh like this this response is forwarded okay so then what happened is you can see i was able to uh, bypass that particular login page which requires me uh, for uh, what you call an otp authentication and you can see uh, once i provide a perfect otp or the correct otp i was able to get this particular page and how i was able to test that i gave my real phone number and i i tested that particular web application how it works okay and in this case here you can see that if you can see so there is some responses so if you take this particular response uh, i'll tell you how this particular web application is working so if you take this particular application here so what the particular uh, uh, client side application or the application is doing is it is looking for like it is doing a kind of regex and it is looking for some statement okay it is just looking for a statement if you can uh, observe carefully the above part the headers part there is nothing related to uh the authentication or verification kind of thing and the only statement that is related to the verification is this particular keyword which can be error it can be zero or it can be false okay so it as i told you it is something which is false okay so once i was able to change that to something true so it got executed okay and the client side validation is done here okay in this particular example a client side validation is done it, it doesn't have a response with the server or anything like that it had simply done a client side validation so since i was changed it to something true statement so i was able to get in so this is uh, this is the thing guys regarding the otp bypass thing like uh, as i told you this is a, a poc of a some application so i'm not mentioning the application let us assume that like abc.com okay so now coming to the reason why this is happening so what happens most of the time is most of the developer doesn't check uh, doesn't include this point so most of the times they do client side validation that doesn't have uh, they doesn't validate with the server as well okay like let us assume that there is a case okay like even the server is working uh, with the client and both are doing the same thing then this particular otp bypass might not be possible okay but most of the time you can try this particular thing 
so if there is a client side if there is a client side validation going on then you can definitely test this thing out and for that you only need a burp suit and that would be more than enough okay so that is it guys for this video i think this is a short video and i had uh, explained my pvc here so i hope you really found this video helpful and if you really found this video helpful uh, make sure you share with your uh, uh, friends who are interested in this uh, hack ethical hacking and bug bounty kind of thing and if you really like this make sure you like it and also uh, really thank you guys for watching this video till the end this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.